Packages get shipped every single day from small businesses. And these packages often include a very expensive business card. Listen, business cards are not cheap. But before you know it, what happens to your business card? Your customer takes it and they throw it in the trash. And so in this video, I'm gonna be providing you with a sure way, a proven way to stop your customers from throwing your business cards in the trash. Your opportunity, your opportunity. Hey, if you're new here and hey, 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 if you are just coming back, my name is Shanice and I do operate a stationery shop called Shanice DK Designs. But here on this YouTube channel, I'm talking all things business. So if that is something you are interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because why not? But also feel free to wait until the end of this video just to make sure I have something of value to provide to you. So we kind of covered this in the intro, but basically you are a small business owner, perhaps you're an author, you are shipping packages with your business cards, but you're not seeing returns. The reason you're not seeing returns is because your customers are more likely taking your business card and throwing it in the trash. Think about it. Customers are getting packages every single day from a number of small businesses. So what's going to let them hold on to your business card when they already have so many? It's a lot easier to throw those away because they're not what they paid for, right? They don't perceive the card as valuable because they already supported your business. I mean, unless you are, you know, the it it in the business world <laughs> and people just want to hang on to your business card. But from what I know from my time in business and from my own personal experiences, business cards go in the trash. I have a time of year where I support small businesses just to show some love. And each and every year I take the business cards and I put them in the trash because you already got my money. I don't need to hold on to this paper anymore. So my whole purpose for this video is to provide to you one sure, one proven way to stop your customers from throwing your business cards in the trash. And that one sure way, the one insider secret is to provide something of value. Your customers want something of value. The product that they paid for is valuable. There was an exchange. I gave you my money, I bought this item. This item is valuable to me because my money is valuable to you. This business card, eh. So you need to replace your business card with something of value value. What I've done in my stationery business is I have replaced a business card with a business card bookmark. So it looks like a bookmark, but it's really my business card. Let me show you an example. These are both given bookmark energy. This one is all about affirmations and this one is giving black girl magic. But on the back, it's giving my brand, scan this QR code, <laughs> show this to somebody, give this to somebody, forget this somewhere, somebody is gonna pick it up. Use this in your book if you are a reader because again, I'm in the stationary business. So I'm assuming that my customers are going to be readers. And even if they're not readers, they might still hang on to this because it looks like a nice bookmark. Whenever I do pop-up shops, I bring these and I pass them out. People are more likely to take them simply because they look like a bookmark. They look like a free gift. I've even had customers leave me reviews saying, I loved this product and thank you for the free gifts. The free gifts? <laughs> Since this has a 10% coupon, so you can come back to my shop, so you can tap in and support my business. And so this is a wonderful marketing opportunity. So the ones that I've created on the back, it says, hey, you're awesome. Then it says, thank you for supporting my passion adventures. I really hope these stationary items make a positive impact in your life. So here I'm thanking the customer. I'm giving them some positivity. I'm showing them happiness. I then have two QR codes and these the first one links to my website. And then the second one links to my Instagram. So they can come and follow me on social media and they can also visit my website to continue shopping. Then 
I take it one step further and I provide them with a coupon code. So it says use code thank you for 10% off of your next order. So this is something that they're gonna hang on to because one, it's giving them a bonus, right? It's giving them an offer. It's giving them a way to save money when they wanna buy products again for themselves or when they wanna buy products for a gift or to give to someone else. It's giving them a reason to come back to my shop. And so this does not only work for stationery. If you have a candle business, you can still use this strategy by perhaps providing your customers with a scented candle card. So maybe you can figure out a way to make the card scented so that they have a reason to hang on to it. Or you could do a candle care card. If you have a hair care company, perhaps you can include some type of habit tracker, right? So on the back is like a habit tracker, like when are you taking care of your hair? Are you using some type of hair net or something like that so like a little habit tracker and then on the other side you have your information so this is still maintaining the essence of a business card which is to communicate your business information to your customers but then instead of wasting two sides just showing the same information in a different way make one side valuable so your customers have a reason to hang on to your card and so I've made this simple for you by creating a template that you can download. It's available on my website, ShaniceDKDesigns.com. It is also available in my Etsy shop. You can also click the link that's going to be in the description or up here in the cards. And what that does is it gives you a simple format to creating this bookmark business card. And I am a business owner myself. So I know that bookmarks can be expensive. And so what I've done is I've found a way to make this a lot more affordable for you. Once you download the template, what I provide for you is my system of getting these created in the way that is going to cost you the least amount of money. I've also gone ahead and provided you with my supplier, the company that I get these cards printed from. I tell you the exact product that you need to get and I tell you exactly how to create the product to make sure that it comes out right. So this download is very, very valuable. As I said, you could get it on my website or you can choose to shop on Etsy. So again, this template is intended to be useful for you in your business. Take your business to the next level, especially as an author. If you are an author, this is something that you definitely want to be given to your customers because they're going to be reading your book and they're going to be able to hang on to something to come back and remember where they got that book from or they might pass it on to someone else. And so if you are in the other group of people <laughs> where you're like, uh, uh, I'm not gonna design this, I would prefer if you just design this for me and ship these to my home ready-made. If you're that type of person, I do have an option where you can just leave me a note on my website or you can simply leave me a personalization message on Etsy just letting me know that you would prefer to have these just ready-made shipped to you, and I'm more than happy to do that. So I hope you found this video helpful. And if you're like, Shanice, I'm not even gonna purchase your template, girl, but thanks for the idea, all well and good. You can use softwares like Canva to create something like this, and you can even print these at home. So you don't even need to go to the extra step of getting a print shop. When I first started out, I was making these from home. I would print four on a four by six card and I would cut those down and they would be, they were like this small when I first started. And then I found a way where it was affordable and it saved me the extra work of having to go through all of that cutting. And that's how I ended up upgrading. But when I first started out, y'all, these were like, they were like literally like, what's that? Two by two. <laughs> These cards were two by two when I first started, but it just got so much because I was just shipping out so many orders that it was just a lot more um, affordable and time saving to go ahead and purchase these. But listen, if you are at that stage in your business where you're like DIYing everything, listen, go ahead and pull on through. 
um, and I wish you all the best in your business. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up now. <laughs> but um, again, those links are in my description. I hope that you do this because listen, I know it will be impactful for your business. As I said, I've had customers say, hey, thank you for the bookmark. And I'm like, girl, that bookmark was just a way for me to promote my business. I like, come back and purchase again. Like, <laughs> But at the same time, it is something valuable. Um, just the power of affirmations, just the power of representation. And so make sure that when you're designing this, you're choosing something that's really going to represent your brand and that's really going to speak and connect you to your customers. Again, I've said this before, but I mean it this time. <laughs> this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. All the best on your business journey. And I'm going to see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys.